Are you tired? Overweight? Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Now, why are people so overweight in America? Is it all because of what we're eating? How come almost everybody, even people who talk about health, are overweight? And their weight bounces around. Why is that? Because they're always hungry. There's no, there's no um, overweight animals in the, in the jungles, in the woods. You don't see overweight squirrels running around. In the we will gain insights from Dr. Joel Foreman, a renowned expert in nutrition and preventative medicine, known for his innovative approach to diet and health. Dr. Foreman has spent decades studying the root causes of obesity and chronic disease, and he's here to shed light on why so many of us struggle with weight gain in the modern world. Dr. Foreman will discuss how the standard American diet, rich in processed foods and low in nutrients, contributes to our nation's weight problem. But more importantly, he'll share a powerful yet simple strategy to combat this issue, focusing on nutrient density. By prioritizing foods that are high in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, we can not only achieve a healthier weight, but also enhance our overall well-being. Stay tuned as Dr. Foreman dives into the science behind nutrient-dense eating and offers practical tips for incorporating this life-changing approach into your daily routine. Why can't you stop eating? Why are people eating more food? Why do they eat till they get overweight? Why do they much them keep eating? Well. Well, that's the person's could help me out here. They said lack of nutrients in the food. That's the point. That's one of the important points I'm making. I'm saying that when you don't meet the body's need for nutrients, we get perverted and uncontrolled cravings and addictions and drive to overeat food. That mo makes almost all Americans overweight. Dr. Foreman mentioned Americans are overweight and asks the following question. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it. If you can subscribe and like, this helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. I just said makes almost all Americans overweight. How much how many Americans are overweight? What percent of Americans are overweight? Anybody know? Almost all of you said between 65 and 70 percent. One person said 80 percent. I just want to make this clear that conventional health authorities say that about 66 percent of Americans are overweight or obese because they consider a BMI above 25 to be overweight or obese. But I don't consider a BMI above 25 to be overweight. I consider a BMI above 23 to be overweight. So my criteria for overweight is much, because th a BMI of 24 or 25 is still overweight. Most all long-lived societies around the world where you can live much longer than Americans lived all have a BMI below 23 or below. So if you use 23 as the cutoff point, then you have 85% of Americans who are being overweight, not 66%. Did you follow that reasoning? Also, what about the Americans that are of normal weight? Well, when you're an alcoholic or when you're a drug addict, it keeps you at normal weight. When you smoke cigarettes, it keeps you at normal weight. When you have a cold cancer or you're sickly, you have digestive disorders, autoimmune disease, depression, or, you know, it keeps you at a normal, more normal weight. In other words, the majority of people in America that have a normal weight have some medical condition keeping them at a normal rate. If, in other words, if you're healthy and there's nothing wrong with you, then you're supposed to be overweight if you're eating American food. There's something biologically wrong if you're eating American food and you're not overweight. So, what's the problem? American food's the problem. Not you. A healthy person should become overweight. If you eat like other Americans eat. We have to change the way Americans eat, though. They're committing suicide with their knife and fork. When their diet is low in food volume because they're eating concentrated calories that don't have the volume, because the stomach needs volume to, to, to curtail its overeating. It needs something that takes up space like vegetation, and it needs nutrients. If you don't meet your nutrient needs, you get cravings to overeat. You want to put in more calories than you need. You do need some calories. So, what keeps us eating these foods? You're an addict! But one of the most critical and most important factors that lead people to becoming overweight is food addiction, which we started to talk about, which let's talk about some more right now, okay? Remember I told you when foods are fast food, when those calories are absorbed very rapidly, they set off dopamine receptors in the brain and make you want to be thinking about eating those foods all the time.
because they sit, like taking narcotics or snorting cocaine. Eating a bagel, eating a piece of cheesecake or ice cream is the same as snorting cocaine. Sets of dopamine receptors, and the, you just want to keep doing it. Keep craving those things. The pleasure only lasts for a few seconds, but the dopamine receptors keeps you thinking about it all the time. It's an addiction. What can we do about it? <laughs> but if you're eating more high volume foods, obviously, the high, you know, green vegetables, raw, all raw vegetables have high volume. And raw vegetables, of course, all their calories are not biologically accessible when they're raw. There's less calories in a raw carrot than the same carrot cooked. Did you follow that? When they're raw, the calories go up, part of them go through. You don't get digested as well. And cooked green vegetables, well, greens, whether they're cooked or raw, are low-calorie foods. Cooked asparagus, broccoli, zucchini, snow pea pods, right, artichokes. So high in nutrients, very low in calories. Eat as much as you want. Stuff yourself. Have, go out, go, you know, full hog on those. They're only less than 70, they're about 75 calories a pound. You're not going to gain weight in eating artichokes. And, and fresh fruits are low caloric. And non-green vegetables that are low carbohydrate, non-green vegetables, eggplant, mushrooms, tomatoes, onions, um, peppers, eggplant, they're all very, very low in calories. And if you're overweight, looking to lose weight and have diabetes, we want to eat more of high volume foods that are low in calories to make you feel full, to not occupy those stretch receptors. Because obviously, if you lived in the woods or the jungles with the gorillas and ate what they ate, which is mostly green vegetables, the gorillas eat mostly green vegetables, at less than 75 calories a pound, how many pounds are you going to eat to feel satisfied? Maybe you're swinging on the vines with, you know, you're swinging on the vines and climbing those trees with the gorillas. Maybe you're burning 3,000 calories a day. I don't know, but at 75 calories a pound, you'd have to eat like 35, 40 pounds of food a day to get enough calories, wouldn't you? I tried that once as an experiment, thinking if I could eat 25 pounds of food in a day like the gorillas do and see if I could get enough calories and to, get to sustain myself with green vegetables. And my jaw and my mouth got so sore, I couldn't chew anymore. I couldn't even handle the chewing. Your stomach couldn't fit it in. There's no way you could consume all that food. No way you could do it. Why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this to let you know how easy it is to lose weight. It's impossible to consume a lot of calories if eating high, a lot of high nutrient natural foods. Matter of fact, like the experiment with the gorilla, you become too thin. You wouldn't maintain enough weight, enough muscle. You, a human couldn't sustain themselves because they'd be too low in calories. You'd be too thin. And you wouldn't want to eat anymore because you'd be so full, but you'd be too thin. You couldn't get enough calories in. Just show you how easy it is for people to become thin. That's the point. Dr. Foreman explains more about why eating high volume foods is effective. But volume isn't everything. We're going to talk more about these other things in a few minutes. But just to continue volume, you can only gain weight if you use concentrated calories, mostly animal products, oils, processed carbohydrates to fit enough calories in the stomach because the stomach only holds a liter of food and you can't put more than 400 or 500 calories at a time into the stomach if you're eating natural foods. It fills it up too easily. It's impossible to become overweight because you can't get enough calories into the human body if you're eating natural foods. You have to become overweight like all Americans did. They've had to eat in foods that have, whose calories have been artificially concentrated. Did you follow that? Now, to avoid overeating on calorie, high calorie food, it's called crowding out. The way it makes it easier for people to lose weight is to eat enough high nutrient, low calorie food, because so then you want less of the high caloric stuff that you've been become addicted to. So you have this person who's a food addict, and the first step to get rid of their food addictions is to have them have to eat a lot of high volume, low calorie food. High nutrient food too, it's the first step. Right? Because less by the fibrous bulk prevents overeating, and the nutrients trigger to the brain, stops the cravings, and it starts to, undo, starts to begin to undo some of the problems. Yeah. Real food? What real food tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> and we brought real food. You deserve some real food. How about some real food? Thanks for watching Longevity Deprocessed. Hit like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on evidence based longevity tips. Share your thoughts in the comments, your journey matters. Remember, small daily habits create big changes. Until next time, keep deprocessing for a healthier, longer future. Let's make this journey together.